Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and been a little busy here around the farm. I've had a few products that were sent to me from some companies to try out, and you know, as a as a YouTuber, that's something we always kind of like to see. One thing when you start getting stuff uh, means that people are actually paying attention to what you're putting out as far as your videos and stuff, and that's uh, kind of a nice validation. Uh, the other thing too is, of course. Well, everybody likes free stuff, but uh, you run onto these products that you might normally have passed up or, uh, you know, just uh, kind of looked at and said, oh, that, that'd be kind of nice. And, uh, you know, this is one of them, uh, well, not necessarily this one, but this company uh, on, the, on this video is uh, Saker. And it's one I'd actually had seen their stuff before they sent me the first product. And... Uh, had kind of looked at it, probably would have passed it over uh, just because I've got certain brands of tools that I usually use, and I'm glad they sent it to me because this has been great. Well, they got us another product sent out, and uh, we're going to take a look at it right now. Okay, now, uh, if you've seen uh, some of my older videos, they'd sent us this, the uh, Saker Mini Chainsaw. A couple of months back and uh, again you know it was it's cheaper price wise so a lot of times you see you know cheaper price wise it's made in another country it's kind of a name you hadn't heard of that uh, you know it's probably uh, gonna work maybe a month or two and not really last that's not the case with this this thing I have used this a lot uh, I actually had it mounted on my tractor uh, for quite a while. I was using it for trimming leaves and branches. But uh, this little thing, I have not charged the battery since I've gotten it. Uh, the battery is still run really good. Never lost power. And I uh, haven't had to sharpen the blade either. And I've cut a lot of limbs, a lot of small stuff with this. The only downside uh, that I see at all on this, which... Uh, you know would be nice is you have to manually oil the chain that it doesn't have an automatic oiler that's that's the only thing really other than that uh this really impressed me this really surprised me at how well it was made and uh, how it's held up so far and you know we do a lot of a lot of cutting here so uh sacred reached out to me they had another product and they asked would i be interested in uh looking at and yeah yeah and that is uh, right here, the Saker Cordless Hedge Trimmer and Grass Shear. And I don't have a lot of hedges here, but I, uh, I do a lot of gardening. I've got a lot of fruit trees and uh, this stuff, you know, especially uh, blueberry bushes, honeyberry bushes. Uh, those are kind of like hedges to where uh, you do have to trim them up. And uh, coarse grass too, it's a, uh, you know, where you can't get the weed eater in, sometimes you can get these into it. So we're going to open up the box and take a look at it right now. All right, we'll open up the box and let's see what we got inside of it. Uh, starting out, we got the manual. Looks like it's going to have two attachments, one for grass, one for hedges. Bubble wrap to protect it, although uh, if this is anything like the mini chainsaw, uh, that thing's tough for, uh, you know, it's probably, uh, you know, not necessary because it's not going to get banged up, but. And uh, I've got the main unit. Looks like it already has the cutting blade for, uh, I guess that would be for grass on there with a little guard. Got the little charging cord. This would be the hedge trimmers. You swap them back and forth. And we have the battery. I'm also wondering if this battery, uh, well, no. Uh, well, yeah. If this battery is going to be compatible with the mini chainsaw as well, and then I've got a double battery for each of them. But like I said, with the chainsaw, that battery has lasted forever. That's what's impressed me. That and the fact I haven't had to sharpen the chain has impressed me more than anything else with that. 
So we're gonna open it up and uh, check it out. Or another thing I, I like on this that uh, I don't think the chainsaw had, I don't, no, it did not. Uh, the battery on this, I have it on uh, some of my other power tools and uh, really like is it's got a little meter to where it tells you uh, how much charge is in there. And of course it comes uh, pre-charged right out of the box. A little safety, hit the trigger. Now, not a not a super compact or complex machine, but you know none of these really are. Other thing that uh, I see I kind of like is you can angle uh, by moving this. You can kind of put it at a different angle if you need to, which uh, could come in handy as well. But I'm gonna put the grass shears on right now. This time of year, we're kind of in a drought. We're finally getting some rain. We had a big storm yesterday. We got another big one coming in later today. But uh, really not trimming hedges or mowing. Weeds is about the only thing we really have right now. And that's just because uh, it's been so dry and nothing's growing. So there's no hedges really to cut right now. But there's a lot of weeds. So I'm going to take this around some of the fruit trees and we'll take a look at how it works. All right, so this is an area that I really haven't been able to get to. Well, I have been. I just haven't had the time to really get to to hit it with the weed eater since these little weeds are growing up some of my fruit trees and uh, see a couple of suckers growing up. So we're gonna actually see if it'll cut those off as well. But uh, we got some small weeds here. Go through it. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's definitely uh, that's definitely going to be with the uh, larger hedge trimmers to do that one. Let's try some of these other weeds over here and see uh, what happens there. Okay, I got my big pear tree here, and like I said, I haven't been able to get. Well, I haven't taken the time to get under here in uh, about a week or two. Regular one. Good size uh, little one. Got these weeds here. See how it cuts. Not bad, a little demonstration. We get into the fall this year and we're getting some rain and I start doing some of our other uh, trees and bushes and stuff and trimming them up. I'm probably gonna get this out and uh, put it to the test and we'll see how how well it holds up so definitely stay tuned for that but uh uh anyway not a not a bad little little tool i'm impressed with the chainsaw like i said and this one uh seems to be built just uh, as well and uh so you'll probably be seeing a lot of this in different uh, things around the farm and landscaping projects that i do I'm going to put a link to this. I'm also going to put a link to the chainsaw, uh, Amazon links, but also a link to, I believe the company has a website you can get on as well. So I'll, I'll put links to that as well. And uh, I'm not being paid for this. This is not a paid endorsement in any way. They just sent me the product to try out. I like gadgets. I like tools and uh, anything, especially like landscaping or yard work. I, I love doing so. You know, I'm always uh, always happy to uh, take a look at some of these. And, and yeah, this is actually very well made. I mean, I, I would put this up with uh, some of your larger name brands that uh, you see in the big box stores as far as quality. And definitely the, the mini chainsaw that I have. I would, uh, most of my stuff is Ryobi or Craftsman. And, you know, I would put that up... Uh, the mini chainsaw from what I've I've had use on it as well that it's uh, as good as the Ryobi uh, mini chainsaw that I've got I've got a 10 inch one of those I use a lot around the farm and uh, the Saker one it's held up it's it's impressed me a lot more than I thought it would to be honest so if you like the videos please consider giving us a thumbs up subscribing to the channel, leaving us a comment. If you got questions about this or uh, 
you know, you want to, hey, will this cut something? You got a question, you know, how much it'll go through? Let me know. I'll give it a shot. Always, uh, always love to see the comments and uh, also the email address for McGee Farms. If you look on our page, it's on the about section as well. Always happy to uh, answer any questions, help anyone out, or, uh, you know, just chat with people uh, that are kind of like-minded when it comes to YouTube and some of the videos. It's Matt with McGee Farms. Everybody have a great day.